Falkir County, Virginia. It's the 3rd of November. A little warm out, but uh, the bucks are starting to chase, so we got a day and a half to hunt. We're gonna get here in the woods. As you can see, uh, these high accommodations so us hunters can afford to stay in with the price of gas and you know whatever these days, everything's expensive. So uh, we're up here. Chad Borneman, Joe Lang. I'm gonna try and stick him with the bow. Joe's gonna break out the smoke pole. So uh, join us this afternoon. We're gonna get in the woods. So we can't knock something down. All right, folks. November the third. We're here in Falkir County, as you've seen the Falkir Motel and whatnot. Uh, MTD Camo, myself and Chad Borneman. I'm still in the stand. Uh, it's about five o'clock in the evening. Uh, got the. Uh, Thompson Center Pro Hunter. I just called in a buck, uh, made a good hit on him. He's laying right over here about 30 yards from the stand, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, wasn't able to get him on video because it's so thick in here. I'm filming myself. It's a nice deer. I'm not sure exactly what it is, uh, but I, I dropped him where he stood. Uh, let me pan over to him and show you what's going on. See that white right there? There he lays. So we're gonna get down and go take a look and see what we got. All right, folks. We're gonna go on the recovery now. The buck I just shot. Uh, come along with me and see what we got. There he lays. Big old deer. Let's see what we got here. Big old, uh, big old four pointer. He's pretty. I could put the bullet right where it needed to be. Anyway, Thompson Center Pro Hunter. What do you think about that, folks? <laughs> That's my fourth buck this season. Three different states. West Virginia. Ohio. And now, my second buck in the state of Virginia. Anyway, I got a lot of work to do. M2D camo, the rut is on. Grunt calls, sense, can't beat it.
Folks, back here, Falkir County. It's cold this morning. It's about 32 degrees when we woke up. I'm sure it's colder than that now. Down here, probably about 150 yards from where Joe shot his deer last night. And I think I uh, about got his twin here this morning. Doing a little grunting, a little bleeding. And uh, he fell victim to us. So, uh, yeah, we slept good last night on our great accommodations at the uh, Buck here Motel. They were lovely beds they got there. We didn't get attacked by roaches, so we made it through the night. Joe was sleeping on top of covers all night. He was a little scared to get in with the cigarette burns and whatnot. Well, just reloaded the muzzle loader here. Give it another couple minutes. We'll uh, take you on the recovery. Let's go, 10 after 7. Uh, really played the footage, looked like I smoked him. So uh, we got a pretty good mark on him. Come with us and see if we can find some blood and find him. It's like a decent body, two or three, maybe four pointer. We'll let you know here when we get up close. Alright, folks, so right here where we shot him. Got a bunch of blood, chunks of lung. I don't think this is going to take very long. All right, looks like we got a good trail. Let's track him up, Chad. There he is. He's down. Down, laying right there. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Well. All right. Like we got a three-pointer. Bring him out in the open, but uh, that's good. A little bit smaller than yours last night, but. Meeting the cooler, nice and early in the day. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Well done. Let's bring him out. We can get a good look at him. Well done. What you got there? Got a little Northern Virginia three pointer. First muzzle loader buck, right? It is the first muzzle loader buck. I've shot him a few times, but I've never hunted with one. What do you think yeah. about that uh, pro hunter there? It, uh, that was a job. Very easy, job. very easy blood trail. He went about 75 yards. I think, uh, I think a blind person probably could have followed it. Yeah. I can definitely uh, smell him. Yep, that's what uh, three shots and three kills with the. Yeah, with the new pro hunter. New pro hunter. In the last five days. Anyway, it's three for three on bucks. So, all right, folks, we'll be back with you. What do you think, Chad? I think he's 
It tastes good. Bro. Nice cold morning. Back straps on the grill tonight. <laughs> we'll be home early, so it's possible. All right. This is the fun part of shooting deer.